You may have a model that you'd like to make slight changes to before you 3D print it, but you either aren't familiar with CAD or don't have time to fire up something like Fusion 360. Well, it's actually possible to make slight changes to the design of models directly in Bamboo Studio using a tool called Mesh Boolean. In this video, I'm going to be going through the features that Mesh Boolean has to offer and explain what each of them do. This includes assembly, being able to add two models together to form one, being able to subtract the shape of one model for another, and a few other editing techniques. So let's have a look. In Bamboo Studio, you may have noticed that when you have an item on your print bed, even with it selected, there is a tool up in the toolbar that is grayed out and you cannot use, and that is Mesh Boolean. So to use this, let's add a second item to our print bed. We'll just add a primitive cube and we'll get this positioned somewhere around here. Now, with these items overlapping, if we slice this at the moment, you'll see that we're getting a serious warning at the bottom right here because we have two items that are intersecting. If we look down through the layers, you'll see that they are still being treated as two independent items with their own set of walls and perimeters. Let's head back into the prepare window and we'll select both the items we've got on our print bed. Either press Control A on your keyboard, right click on the bed and then select select all or head up to the object list and then hold shift whilst selecting all the items you want to select. Right click them and then click assemble. This is now nested the items that you have selected under an assembly on the build plate. This means that you can apply settings directly to your plate to the assembly as a whole or to each of the individual objects within that assembly. So you can treat them as a whole or independently. If you click and drag on the objects in the build plate, it's going to drag the entire assembly, but you can select the individual objects on the object list and then you can move them around independently. With the assembly selected, you can also click split two objects and this will divide them back into independent objects and get rid of the assembly control. But for now, we want them to be assembled, so we'll pop them back together and select all, right click, assemble. With them reassembled, if we go and slice the plate again, and then we move our way down through the layers, you'll see that now they are in an assembly, they are seen as a single item when being sliced. This is no longer causing a conflict and is not going to cause an issue during printing. So let's go back to the prepare window, and now with the assembly selected, if we go up, we'll see that the Mesh Boolean option is now available in the toolbar. You can right click and select Mesh Boolean, but this seems to be currently broken in Bamboo Studio and also then blocks your ability to use the option from the toolbar. So we'll press Ctrl Z and then gain that option back. So let's have a look inside the Mesh Boolean tool. We've got Union, Difference and Intersection. If we start with Union, it gives you the option to select two parts. We'll select part one and part two and then we'll click Union. With that applied, you'll now see that it has got rid of the assembly. It has fused both of the parts into a single object now called assembly. As they are a single object, you can no longer split this into objects either. For the purpose of this video, we want these to be separate objects for now within the assembly, so we'll press Ctrl Z and then go on to the next mesh boolean option, Difference. Difference allows you to use one object and delete the intersecting area from another object. So here we could delete the area of the boat that is overlapping with the area of the cube from the cube. To do this, you want to select the object that you want to delete from, so in this case the cube, and select the object you want to delete with, in this case the benchy boat. With them selected, click Difference and it will process. It's processed, but this looks exactly the same. If we select just the 3D Benchy boat and move it aside, you'll see that it has actually cut out the area that the boat was overlapping with the cube. If we press Ctrl Z and undo that, and reselect the items that we had selected before, so subtracting from the cube with the boat, then if we tick Delete Input, it will delete the item that we're subtracting with. If we click Difference now, it will subtract the same area, but it's also got rid of the boat without us having to delete it independently. So let's press Ctrl Z, undo that, and we'll come up to the final Mesh Boolean option, Intersection. This tool allows us to create a new object which represents the area where two different objects are currently overlapping each other. So if we select our two parts now, or we'll select part one 
and part two, and then click intersection. This can take a moment to process, but once done, you can see that part one, the cube has been deleted and it's been replaced by an area where the two objects had overlapped. This new object is still part of the assembly, so it's being moved around with the rest of the items. It's obviously not in an orientation that could be easily printed, but if we were to select the assembly, we could then click split two objects and we would be able to then treat this as a completely independent object. We could then select it, use the lay on face tool and more appropriately orient it for 3D printing. If I press Ctrl Z again and undo this process, there is one more option under intersection, which again was a delete input. So we'll select the same two objects again, part one and part two, but this time we'll select delete input and then click intersection. And now we are just left with the intersecting area of the two parts. The rest has been deleted. And now we could just use the auto orient tool and position it on the bed where we want. It's worth noting that when using this tool with more complex models on some computers, it may cause Bamboo Studio to crash. So I'd recommend saving your project before continuing and using the tool. Now you can use the mesh Boolean tool with multiple models, which you've directly imported into Bamboo Studio. Or if you just needed to make a quick and simple change to something that you've already got the print bed, it may be easier to do what I've done in this example, which is right click on the print bed, go down to add primitive, and then select one of the primitive models, such as a cube, cylinder, sphere, cone, disc, or torus, which is a donut shape. Once you've added one to the print bed, it adds it as a normal object in the object list. So this can be treated completely independently of anything else. You can then select it along with other items you've got in the print bed, assemble them, and then you're able to apply the mesh Boolean tool to those items. So if, for example, you just needed to remove part of the object, you could just use a cube, use the difference tool, ensure that you have the delete input selected, and then that is just going to delete the section of the model that you don't want. Whilst not necessarily useful for the mesh boolean tool, whilst we're on the subject of the add primitive function, in addition to the primitive shapes, there is also a list of four test objects that you can add directly in Bamboo Studio, as well as a couple of test cubes by Bamboo Labs. There is also the OG Benchy and a complete testing interface. Well, I hope you found this video useful and you now feel confident that you can make those slight alterations to your design. If you did find this useful, please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe buttons because it makes a huge difference to me. And I've got a lot more videos coming in the future, which I really hope that you'll find useful. Thanks very much, guys. And until next time, happy printing. Thanks very much for sticking right to the end, guys. While you're here, why not learn something new and check out some of my other Bamboo Studio tutorials or check out some of my other fun 3D printing and maker content. Again, thanks very much. And until next time, happy printing.